20 years later and I still know this jam. Ooh, pillow pets. There's no way that slid in the day. Uh, oh, nah. Now I watched a lot of cartoons growing up. I wasn't a fan of sitcoms. Movies were kind of there, but like cartoons was like I watched all the time. When you watch cartoons all the time, you also become very, very familiar with the commercials, infomercials, advertisements that fall in between your entertainment. So I thought it would be really interesting to do a tier list of commercials because how could they still have a positive light? Like they're breaking your entertainment. So I wanted to rank them based on, I don't even know what based on, just like nostalgia basically. The first category we got is core memory. So like just the epitome of 2000s, like you know it word for word. You maybe wanted the product for some reason. You didn't know what was going on because you were six years old. The next one, almost no word for word. Again, very repetitive. You've heard the same thing over and over. You may not know exactly every word. Next one is eh. It's like, it's an ad at the end of the day. No one cares. Barely remember just for the random ads that I just remember a few times. And then who literally watched this? So probably ads that are like 2010 and later, cause that's when I personally started to not have cable anymore. I wanted to make sure there was a good balance. So it wasn't just core memories I know because that would be boring. First one we got, I believe is the Betty Crocker cake set. Now I need a refresher. From Betty Crocker. It's the most exciting thing you can do with Yo, bro. Of flavor of ice cream. Why does that kid look like Macaulay Culkin? Bro, I haven't seen this ad in so long. Holy shit. That's really funny. Actually, no way. I actually would have this cake mix. Insert. Add your filling. Gross, bro. Ew. Who let that be allowed? I remember it a lot more than I expected to. I like I totally forgot that. I'm gonna say that's eh, because I don't know it word for word. Next we got Zoop House, bro. Zoop House is a fucking poor memory. I wanted this so badly, and I never got it. Hey kids, follow the bouncing plate. Who doesn't want this? Every kid wanted this. Quack, quack, zoo pals, zoo pals make eating. Oh damn. Next one, we got a swimming dude. Summers are great, but kids can lose two and a half months worth of what they- Yo, I forgot about this ad. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little overhyped. I, I didn't remember it that much, but like that was something that probably came out in like 2009. I'm gonna put that at eh. Oh my gosh, we got Floam. Again, a toy that I wanted and didn't get. Stretchy and transforms almost anything. The most random fucking toy I have seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Turn this ordinary toy car into a foaming fast dragster. <gasps> Did anyone know anyone that had this toy? I swear everyone saw it. Or like moon shoes, but no one had it. It's not like core for me, if that makes sense. Like I think the, um, what's that? That moon sand shit? I don't think that's in this list. That I would say is up there more for me. We got a big cupcake. What is this? Tired of looking like a fool when your cakes aren't cool? And why do tiny cupcakes <laughs> Bro, bro, tired of looking like a fool when your cakes aren't cool? Uh, bam, slam poetry on that ass. Holy, that's huge. Easy way to make colossal cupcakes that are Dude, times bigger I remember this, but like who the fuck is buying this? You just make a cake. Grab your camera to remember those giant cupcakes your family- Grab a camera. They actually were- Bro, look at this camera. That jumbo cupcake looks amazing. Big top- <laughs> <laughs> Wow! That looks so good! Take a picture of it and post it on MySpace! Eh, you know what? I'm gonna put that barely remember, actually. Because, like, if I were to think of iconic 2000s commercials, that doesn't come to mind. I do remember it, but I would put this at core. Your mouth will really rock. Oh, and then it opens up and it's a concert. Take it away. Bro, I forgot about Zoo books. Zoo books. I didn't even know what they were as a kid, but I wanted them. I'm gonna put this at core memory as well because I would put this above SpaghettiOs because it's that iconic. This commercial was literally like three minutes. Look at this. It's animals. Bro. About the magnificent this is actually so nostalgic. I hated reading too, and they still got me. TV offer. You can get Bro, look at that fade effect. That's crazy. Okay, we got the Chef Boy RD commercial. This one again, branding wise, this campaign, genius. They had the thing fall off the shelf and it followed the kid home. Tune that music. Yeah, 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 tune it. Fall off. Uh, roll, roll. Why is it? Was this in French? 
When was this in French, dude? How long is this? I thought it was so much shorter. Chef Boy RD. Boy, this stuff is good. Oh, their tagline? I forgot about that. Again, I think I'm gonna put almost no word for word, even though there are like no words. I didn't know the words, actually. It was in French and I didn't know that. What am I looking at? Dude, what is this? I've never heard this. Bro, one, it's still going. Two, she's standing on the internet. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bob. If I would have heard this as a kid, I would have just been like, this is amazing. College is great. The answer. But like what, I, I've never seen this. Okay, since I've never seen that, I'm gonna put that, who literally watched this? Pillow Pets, stop putting you at core. I'm probably gonna put that at number one. Let's just have a little watch, you know, Say feel good. Pillow Ooh, Pillow Pets. Yes. Unfold, bro. Uh, uh, mm, pillow mm. Pets are cute. God, dude, amp me up. up. Yo. Just by saying the name, lots and lots of jets and planes, I get that ad in my head. It's lots and lots of jets and planes. God. collection of aviation DVDs we've ever offered. Like, what kind of name is that? That would not slide today. You got lots and lots of jets and planes. That's seven words in the title alone. You got an of and and, an ampersand. You got two words with gradients. You got two of the same words that capitalize. Even I want it. Who bought this? Because of that, I'm gonna put Jets and Planes up at Core Memories. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting it up there. Yo! This was random as hell. I remember this. That was the fastest ad on this list by far. Because of how random it is, I'm gonna put it at barely remember. Biomechanical motion and three programmable behavior modes make him interactive, responsive, or unpredictable. I just don't remember this. I know a lot of people that had this toy, but like this commercial. No. I'm gonna put that at barely remember. I'll put that at the bottom. It was toothpaste this whole time? Not the Comic Sans. I'm gonna put that up there as well. I'm assuming this isn't for the gun model specific because they had a ton. Recon CS6, the blaster you can customize for any- Nah, I'm putting it back down here. Furby, bro, I'm sorry. That's a 90s thing. There's no way. I did not, I, I didn't, I, nope. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Hey, Furby! <laughs> that was the joke. Knock, knock. Barely remember this. This was Doodle Bear. Again, I don't remember this at all. What are they wearing, dude? Introducing the original Chocolate Factory, the fun, easy way to turn ordinary wow. ordinary desserts. I forgot about this. Just a fondue machine, really. Regular pots burn chocolate, but Chocolate Factory. All the X. All the little overlay effect. All the 3D animation. Oh, they had a budget. I'm not gonna lie, I really, I did want this. I think Flo needs to go up. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put Flo up. I'm gonna put this closer. I'm gonna put Chocolate Factory here. Why is there so much baking and cooking shit? I wanna put this at core memory, but at the same time, I kinda had no clue what was going on. Yeah, I remember this. I was very confused because it was with plants. Bro, I actually saw the Scooby-Doo Chia Pet in a store once and I about dropped my marbles because who the fuck actually saw what they saw on TV in the store? I'm gonna put Chia Pets honestly at almost no word for it. I'm gonna put it at the top because it was iconic, but I didn't really know what was happening. Off the bat, I think I'm gonna put this probably at eh because it was a newer commercial. Check this out. <laughs> This is so funny, bro. What a concept. Bro, oh, nah. Yeah. I also couldn't care less because I hated brushing my teeth and I knew my mom would not buy it. Next one, we got head on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. What? Head on is available without a prescription. There's no way that slid in the day. They repeated the same audio bite three times. Did you hear that? There's no way that slid. I didn't remember that. The Fushigi was like the number one toy I swear every kid wanted because it looked so cool. God, dude. <laughs> Bro. No strings. No tricks. Magic. Maybe. 
sick. It's so much fun. I love it. It's amazing. My grandson, he's 16. He was Bro, how many people are they going to have say they like it? I won't. Iconic. I'd put that at core memory. This might be up there with my favorite commercial. You know what? Yes. I'm putting this as my favorite commercial in the 2000s. Do you know how catchy this shit was? Chocolate great when separate, but when they combine, they make the morning time epic. Morning time epic. 20 years later, and I still know this jam. Burger King. This looks new. What the fuck is this? This was a SpongeBob collab? This happened? Where was I? How much money did they have for this one ad? Bro, they have two verses. Bro, I'm just in shock. Okay, after five whole minutes, I still don't even know who the fuck watched that. Oh my gosh. These campaigns by Capri Sun where they would like blow up the packet and then they would jump on it. And then these were good. We'll, we'll put it just like that. Just off the bat, I'm assuming these goldfish commercials are just going to go to core because this was iconic. Hey, Finn. Oh, I get it! Because fish has fins! Say this tagline. Say the tagline. Say it. Say it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh my gosh, this? Bro, I don't even know what they were selling. I just know the phone number. Hey, two, three hundred, Empire. Bro, I quickest commercial of all time. Again, makes sense why I didn't know it was being advertised, but that phone number? Yeah, I'm gonna put that in core as well, I think. Begging strips. There's no time like begging time. No, there is because I don't know what that commercial was. Fruity Pebbles, I can tell you right now, bro. Fruity Pebbles are below mid, so I'm probably not gonna, I doubt I'll remember this. I slightly remember this. Slight. This was the commercial that I, like, as soon as it started, I just zoned the fuck out. Like, I would go upstairs or I would, like, I, I literally turned my brain off. Of this. I'm gonna put this back down to barely remember. And then I'm gonna put this here. Actually, no. We're gonna switch this. We're gonna put Fruity Pebbles above his chocolate. Introducing Bacon Bowl. The easy what? For fun, savory, not the, yum. Not the crunch sound effect. I don't remember these at all. Okay, this ad, I hate this ad. This is the most strong hate words towards some type of content I have ever had. You know why? Because I have seen this ad over hundred, hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. Because this was the number one ad they would play Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Dis no, I think it was mostly Cartoon Network. It was about babies. It was Gerber Life, whatever the fuck that sells. Also, this commercial was like six minutes long. I'm not even kidding. Attention parents and grandparents of young children. Oh my, that is, dude, the amount of pain. If not, you're urged to call this toll-free number now. shitty mint ice cream chocolate fucking plan. color in the you back oh and the yep i hate head start for, just for just pennies a day i think i'm sadly gonna have to put this at the end it was so 2000s it just wasn't a good time to be oh my gosh this, this is king this actually is going to go second this is the shirley temple dvd collection the amount of times i woke up in the middle of the night to this on tv from baby take a bow Curly top. Animal crackers, come on, come on, do it to me. Animal crackers in my soup, monkeys and rabbits, loop da loop. 18 movies? And last but not least, we have this Hershey commercial. What makes a Hershey's bar pure? Uh, yeah, I don't remember this. We're gonna move jets and planes up above because SpaghettiOs was a bit new. Actually, you know what? We're gonna swap the carpet company thing for the SpaghettiOs because the SpaghettiOs were good But they were kind of on the same level as this. I feel like this is pretty good I genuinely don't know what the fuck these commercials are. We're gonna move the Fushigi down It was like iconic, but I didn't know all the words exactly. We're gonna put SpaghettiOs down here and we're gonna put this back up here that's gonna be it for the video make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this nostalgia look or what your opinions were let me know in the comments because i'm born in 2000 that is my bias i prioritize cartoon network over disney and nickelodeon so that's why i put these in the order i did make sure to leave a like on the video have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys later